globalization can be beneficial, having the integration of China, India, other emerging markets in the global economy can lift uh, billions of people out of poverty. And we cannot uh, prevent that from happening, but we have to make sure that globalization is good for all and is fair for all. We have to be in favor of globalization, but we have to make it sustainable, we have to make it more human, we have to make sure that the benefits are spread throughout rather than leading to more inequality and more divergences. So we have to work together as societies, we have to cooperate across economies to make sure that the benefits are spread across the world. Is it possible for finance to serve the economy? It's uh, absolutely crucial. Uh, we need a financial system that uh, takes savings and puts them in the most productive investment projects. And unfortunately, a lot of the financial system in the last few decades has become just creation of toxic products, of leverage, of financial engineering, of derivative products that have no economic or social purpose. So we have to bring back finance and banking to what it was before, something that uh, serves uh, economic growth and prospects in the economy. Is it possible for the economy to serve the common good? It can, absolutely. You know, if we have uh, economic systems that are market-oriented, but in which uh, governments provide uh, good public services like uh, healthcare, education, social security, uh, skills, in which there is prudential uh, regulation supervision of the financial system with a balanced economy where you need to have private incentives, but in which governments and the private sector also care about not just maximizing returns and profits, but also maximizing long-term economic growth and welfare for all. How important is it for the common good to serve people? Yes, you know, we need a society in which, uh, you know, policymakers, the private sector, NGOs, uh, even the financial sector are working together towards making a better society, a more stable financial system. You know, life is not just about maximizing uh, profits and returns, it's also making community, uh, social responsibility, about creating the common good and then spreading it along. Otherwise, there'll be backlash, backlash against free markets, backlash against trade, backlash against globalization. You know, economic and financial crises cause, uh, you know, social and political instability, revolts, strikes, demonstrations, sometimes a revolution. So we need a stable society that grow in a sustainable way and financial innovation can play a role, but there has to be a role that destabilizes the real economy rather than destabilizing it. Economic interactions are based on reputation, on trust, on the existence of a social capital in addition to human and physical capital and financial capital. And therefore, we have to be in an economic system where agents trust each other, where you can trust your banker managing your assets or the traders in which uh, you make productive investment and in which we invest on not only in the private terms, but also in increasing both uh, local and global public goods that are necessary to make our economic growth uh, more stable, more sustainable, more environmentally friendly. Otherwise, we're going to have uh, social and political kind of turmoil. And if trust isn't restored, do you think we'll have another credit crisis? Yes, if we don't go in the direction of uh, greater social responsibility, of using the financial system for productive investment, of having stability of avoiding asset boom and bust, uh, credit boom and bust, and volatility, that financial volatility is going to lead to economic volatility, to crises that have severe implications in terms of losses of income, of jobs, of wealth, uh, of uh, fiscal cost of then cleaning up the mess. And then the political and social consequences are severe. It makes, you know, societies politically and socially more unstable. It leads to violence. It leads to stresses on the system that make actually the entire system less, less sustainable.